I've gathered the infinity stones of SSRI. <laughs> so we're like holding it or whatever. Like, out here. <laughs> and he's like, Apparently, SSRIs <laughs> are not as effective anymore. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. I just want my credit. Okay, and like, like I doxed your, your house. What do you, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally, like, there was not a single gay person before Choice Von Star on YouTube. Hey, I'm Nicole. That's, oh, Nicole. that's, Nicole. that's Nicole. And I'm Jake. That's Jake. Jake. Who's that? And this is Talk and this Nasty, is talk nasty, nasty, nasty to me. me. Oh, Gian just texted me that the, that the documentary is insane. I think oh. we, we can do better. Wait, oh my god. Wait, I can't even say that I set a turn, though, because, like, I just found it. On TikTok. Jake and I just recorded the podcast for five minutes, and then nothing happened. Why can't I consume media, like, originally? Like, in an original way, you know what I mean? What do you... You recommend it to other people. I know, but, like, I didn't even... Yeah, but I, it wasn't like I discovered it. Like, why can't I discover something? Why don't you make something? That would be impossible. I would never create content. I think that that's <laughs> foolish. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you exactly the same questions that I asked you prior. I'm going to act so well about it. Ready? Did you miss me so much when I was gone abroad? <gasps> yes, so much, Nicole. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> we recorded for like five minutes and it didn't record. This is the part where you're supposed to ask me... Um, what was the best part of my oh what was the your- best part wait but i want to ask in a fun way any okay. like any notable circumstances from your trip i wish that i could say doing shrooms in the Anne frank house but i i couldn't i'm so happy that we're back for week three and that cowboy's asshole is um proudly on display yeah yeah he's been really he was really a, a gem while you were gone and by gem i mean um i don't know he just like loves me and i'm sorry about that like i think that I asked Nicole yesterday because I'm trying to build a relationship with her son, um, Cowboy, like, you know, because I want him to see me as a father or uncle figure. And I asked Nicole yesterday, I said, if I bring over a sweatshirt, because, like, I want him to know my scent, like, will you lay it out for him to, like, lay on? And she goes, (laughs) she, like, (laughs) exactly that. And I was like, really? So Nicole is, like, kind of withholding my child from me. Listen, here's the thing. A lot of people are like, I don't know anything about Cowboy. You never made a video about Cowboy. This, there's nothing there's to make. There's nothing to make. I love him so much. Look, he's about much. to attack the camera. <laughs> I love him so much. And I love Clementine. There is nothing to him. And I don't mean that in a mean way. His most interesting fact about himself was that he shit all over my car once. And had, like, explosive diary. And then the car got stolen a week later. That's the most interesting thing about, and that he almost died as a kitten, and I spent thousands of dollars to save him, and then one day he just magically started eating again. He... You could die in this apartment, and Cowboy would go on living his normal life Oh, absolutely. for the next, I don't even know, months. Until the dry food st- Stop. dispenser stops. Yeah, stops. and then he would try to escape. Did you know that every single time that you're in a hospital bed, that um, wherever you're laying, like, someone has died in that bed before? What? No. You know, I don't think that that's true. Why wouldn't it be you true? You think that that's true? Why wouldn't that be true? Aren't there, but th- there are like non-fatal hospital like like units, aren't there? Like it's not all like ICU, right? If you're in the emergency room, the chances that someone died in that hospital bed are pretty high. Okay, but you said always. Most likely. I, you most just said like always. the most, most likely always. <laughs> okay. 90% of 100% of the time. <laughs> someone has died there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay 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 yes then yeah i believe that but i don't know that's that's scary i've only laid in the hospital a bit one time what about really? you really mm-hmm. only only oh yeah i've laid many times mm. <laughs> <laughs> what happened uh boy tells us <laughs> oh you went to the hospital for that yeah damn get surgery that's where they do that where do you think they do that at the dentist at the fucking dentist i don't know the, i got i mean like wisdom tooth surgery and they did it at a, basically a dentist's office Mm, no, I remember I called my, um, the guy who did my wisdom teeth out, I called him really sexy afterwards. And then I got on camera and then I kept calling him sexy in front of my mom. You know, I have been in a hospital bed more than once because I got my foreskin removed. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me into my first bullet point. Um, Are you going to reveal it? Is this your reveal? Yeah, well, because I never got to talk about it because we were doing Yay! a podcast at the time. Yay! But, um, Yay! Force can reveal! Force yay! Can reveal. Yay! Yay! Okay, put it on the screen. Yay! 
the Wait, foreskin, not my penis. This is the best thing ever. I know. I was just thinking about you it today. You haven't even told some of our friends. And you know what? There is something about me. I am the type of friend that, like, if you tell me something and it's really interesting... You're going to tell other people? Yeah, because unless you tell me not to, then I assume that it's information for the class. Not, like, juicy, like... Oh, did like, you tell people about this? No, no. Oh, yes, you did. You no, did. No, I didn't. No, because, because you told you me not to. No, because you did tell someone. Because when I went to Who? go tell Gianna... Oh, wait, no. Did no, I tell... Oh, told... no, I told Gianna in yes! the middle of her workplace. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh! I will never oh, disclose so that, that type of information. I, I'll disclose I it keep on the internet. And then I get really excited. Yeah, please do. Finally. Well, oh. I'm wondering how everybody... If no. you're a boy watching this, how do you realize that you got circumcised or not? Because <laughs> okay, I didn't until very late in life. <laughs> My sister, who's having her second child, had her first child like a year ago. And he's a boy. He's, he's cute. Whatever. But my mom, she's like in the hospital or whatever for days because I guess that's what happens when you have a child. Yeah. <laughs> you stay there for like yeah. a little bit. And I'm like, I, it was, he was born two days before my birthday. So it hits my birthday and I'm, first of all, I'm turning. You found out that you got a circumcision on, on, my birthday. on your 23rd birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, yeah, that was crazy. Um, so yeah, I was like turning the ripe age of 23 mm -hmm. and my call my mom. She's like, happy birthday, whatever. And she's like, you should go and visit Mackenzie in the hospital. You and got I'm, circumcised on your birthday? I don't know. I don't know. That's my thing. I... Are you getting emotional? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like, I don't know when. Like, I, it's hard because I don't know when. Like, I could have been circumcised at any is, age. Right? I Like, when's my circumcision date? <laughs> um, no, but she, she's like, you should go visit Kenzie. She's in, she's like, still at the hospital. I was like, she's still at the hospital? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, why? And she says, oh, because, like, obviously, like, the baby needs to get circumcised and, like, all of this stuff. Because she needs to get cut off. And I was like, oh, he is? And she goes, yeah, like, and I was like, why? That's what I said to my mom. And uh -huh. I'm like, I'm, I'm playing it cool. Because <laughs> I'm... Because, <laughs> like, I've been in a relationship before this, and, um... It was you? Pretty, yeah. Before last year. You? Yeah, I know. And I was pretty confident. Like, I told <laughs> the person that I was with that I was uncircumcised. <laughs> that I was uncut. And did they say... Did they... they we were examined like, were they, together. Were they, I hope my little brother does not... <laughs> yeah, I hope well, my little brother does not want to. This. Wait, and was he just like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, well, he was Pull like, it out. He, let's, no, let's he was like, he was like, podcast. no, no, because there, there was a time where we were like, you know, we're like holding it or whatever, like out here, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, I don't, I don't know, like, and he like takes a look around it and like he's like, I don't know, maybe it's not. Well, like the thing is, like when a penis is erect, they all look the same. Okay. Okay. Um. So I'm like, okay, like I'm pretty sure I'm not because I'm. I'm, like, grew up in a Christian household. Like, I'm pretty sure that, like, Judaism is, like, the big one that gets circumcisions. Like, I know because you have, like, there's, like, a huge ceremony for it called a bris. I think most people do nowadays, though. Oh, I know, but I'm a high schooler and, like, I barely know what... I <laughs> No, even know. you weren't. You're 20 fucking three. Oh, what? Oh, pish posh. <laughs> I'm a high schooler. Posh. I'm a high schooler. I, 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 I was a teenage baby girl at the time. <laughs> um, and I was, like... A middle. I'm sorry. I'm a 20 year old teenage baby girl, um, <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, whatever. I said to my mom, I was like, oh, why? And she's like, well, all the boys get. It's like a hygiene thing. All the boys get circumcised. And I was like, I like played it really cool with my mom. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I acted like I acted like I've known the whole time. Like I was like, oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm like in my head, and I'm like. Wait a minute, I'm circumcised. I will never forget that date when, when you texted me and you were like... <laughs> I was like, huge news. Yeah, you're like, announcement. I, I am I'm like circumcised. circumcised. Yeah, that was crazy. It was a it was a life-altering moment. Yeah, because things changed after that. And then when you, you announced it then to a whole salon. Because <laughs> I, I, I went to go get my hair cut at Jeez. And I, and I was like, well, I have nothing to talk about. So, um, <laughs> guess what, G? Oh, you know why? She cut my hair on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She, oh, she gave you the circumcision. She gave me yes. She, she cut my hair and my foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, can you get, can you get this dead weight off of me? You said I'm so much more aerodynamic. Can I get now. a bowl cut? <laughs> And she was like, yeah, sure. She started putting it on my head. I was like, well, no, wait, no, 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 I need, I bought, I, I need bought a, cut. a really small bowl with <laughs> yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I brought a shot glass. It was, well, and then 
I was like, can you just do like a trim? And then she was like, oh, I went too, I went too far. So we have to go bald. And I was like, damn. <laughs> she said, would you like a bleach and tone with that? <laughs> and I said, why not? <laughs> Throw it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's my story. Oh my God. I, know. Were, I don't, I'm Were sorry, you circumcised? I, uh, me? <laughs> um, I, this. Your, was your spirit penis circumcised? Oh, my spirit penis? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I have okay. to compare. Do you think it would be like? Do you think it's more powerful to have a, a circumcised spirit penis or to have a cir- or to have a, a spirit foreskin? Anything, anything is every 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 foreskin, um, every um, it's um, there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them without written on paper. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I just, it's just, I just really think and believe in the, um, the power of, um, I'm not media trained. <laughs> on course, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to get my team in I have to, talk, to talk about this. Yeah, it really helped a lot that my last manager was, um... Circumcised. Oh, she, she, was, <laughs> she went to school for PR. Oh! oh. So she could have really helped me with this, oh, but... Oh, damn. Nobody, no, right. you're not working with any PR team right now? Uh, me? Yeah. Does it look like I am? Yeah, I was about to I say, we can tell. You. you can't. You are not. <laughs> oh, no, with the PR lady, you had a podcast with me, too. Oh, I did. Don't forget. With the, with the PR. Clementine, <laughs> there's something in you. I, I, I get really nervous whenever I touch She's the cats. and literally then, being so cute right now. And then I, um, she always does when, when we're recording. And I, like, feel around in their little bodies. And I check for tumors everywhere. And I'm like... Well, you better not die because you're only three Do you like think that she has old. a tumor right now? No. I thought I set I'm my house checking. on fire yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I left. And then I was like at the, my destination. Your dog I was like, oh died. my God. I know, my dog almost died last week. Yeah, you're like, did you so miss me while I was in Germany? I'm like, yeah, with my dog died. I was stranded on the side of the road with a flat tire, like all of this shit. <laughs> and and yeah, you I almost set you. your house on fire. And I almost set my house on fire. <laughs> missed you though. <laughs> Always thinking of you. I, um,. I was thinking of you the whole time while I was gone. Like, you were? Yeah. Because, the whole time? Well, no. But, yeah, I was about to say. Um, oh, thank God. Do you want to talk? Well, maybe don't. What? I think I might have to return. Setting my house on fire? Your mom gave me a pressure cooker. And I think I had... Yeah, and she said, actually verbatim what she said to you when she gave it to you was like, if are you, you actually going to use it? it? Then give it back. Yeah. I think I may have to get it back to you because I saw on TikTok a few people having pressure cooker accidents. And I really can't let that happen, which brings me... Is that like a user error thing, though? Or is that because of their pressure cooker? Um, like like a faulty pressure cooker? I don't know. Because, like, she's used that one over and over again, and it's been fine. Oh, so it's really used. So yeah, it's, it's probably like, going to break soon. Yeah, it's probably going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... <laughs> <laughs> when I was in middle school, I overplucked my eyebrows for the first time, and I had very, very bushy, overgrown eyebrows, and I should have just kept them as they were, but I found my mom's tweezers, and I plucked them a little bit, and I showed her, and she was like, good, nice. You've made lines. <laughs> and then and then I kept going, kept going until, like, literally, like, I had, like, nothing. Like, it was just, like, the front, and at one point, she was, oh, what did you do? <laughs> But there was, like, no saving it. Like, it was just... I just love to have seen you go, like... It was... Perfect. It was too <laughs> far gone. Like, they were, like, little baby sperms on oh my, my face. Oh, my God. And Is I, that how you learned to draw on eyebrows? Mm, a, a little bit, but I came into school and... That's my knee. Don't touch me there. Oh, sorry. Did I touch you? Yeah. Oh, you know sorry. I have ticklish knees, don't oh, you? Oh, sorry. My bad. Um, And I went into school, and then everyone said to me, What did you do? And that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, shit, I fucked up. Like, I didn't realize that this was actually bad. Like, I didn't realize that I did a bad thing. I thought I did a good thing. And I thought everyone was going to compliment me. So I lied to everyone because I was a compulsive fucking liar in middle school. And I lied to everyone. You were? Me. That's unbelievable. You I didn't know. steal from Lush for years. Okay, I didn't steal from Lush. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't scam Lush for years. I committed mail fraud. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Anyway, anyway, you were a liar in high school? I was a liar, and I said to everyone that I stuck my face too close to a rice cooker, or to a crock pot. I said to a crock pot that the crock pot, the steam opened my face. I think I even blamed, like, a cousin or something. Because, like, m- my one cousin cracked my head open when I was in elementary school. And so I think I blamed the same cousin. I was like, yeah, she shoved my face into a crock pot, and then I burned my eyebrows off. And I, like, thought that that was, like, believable. Oh. Like, it was, like, this I whole elaborate... 
I was the same. But if you told me you were circumcised, I absolutely would have believed you <laughs> in high school. That's the thing. No. I, yeah, that was a, it was a shitty lie. Well, but. did you think you looked good until you got to until school? Until I got to school. In my opinion, like, you should just have no, had if the I confidence. No, if I showed you, then you would have been like, no, yeah. Nicole. No, like, I would make fun was, of you for it now. You I would have been like, that. that's really bad. Because now I have, like, the biggest fucking eyebrows and it's like... You don't have the biggest eyebrows. You no. have very normal size eyebrows. I have normal size <laughs> eyebrows, but it's a lot bigger than what I had before. This is what I, God intended for me to have. This is what... You should be who you are. <laughs> <laughs> be proud of your eyebrows. Thank I like them. Thank you so much. You, like, didn't you do that whole thing with glossy boy brow or whatever? What about them? I didn't do a campaign with them. They don't want to work with me. Why? I think it's because I made a video on TikTok <laughs> where I jokingly said that the lotion is a collab between Glossier and Elf Bar. And <laughs> oh, and they didn't like that? I, Elf Bar? I don't think so. Like they, Santa? They, <laughs> they left me on the scene <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I really don't think they like that. They don't like Elf? No, I, no Elf. You elf said bar? Elf Bar? Yeah. Oh! The, the um... The, the vape. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking Elf Cosmetics. You don't even fucking use Elf Cosmetics. I know what Elf Cosmetics is, though. Yeah, yeah. You use I'm Elf Cosmetics. I'm wearing it right now. I know. What is that one called? What? That lip shade. Uh, Red Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It look, Does it taste good? No. Does it smell good? No. Okay, because every time Nicole shows me some, like makeup, I'm like, how does it smell? Right. Because I hope that it smells good. And... A lot of Rihanna stuff smells really good, but then a lot of it, I'm like, if that was close to my nose. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> what like, else do you have? Um, I oh, have. What? It's called community, not communicant. <laughs> I'm sorry. What does that mean? I don't know. I wrote that down like a while what ago. What did you write in there? Uh, sensor. <laughs> Oh, that I was when we were going through the last video. I told Jake that he's going to have to start censoring stuff because one of our, our podcast episodes did get demonetized. and I made a list of words. Right. Yeah. You want to say them again? <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. I put down... <clears throat> um, this is the first time I made a... Like, I mean, since we restarted the podcast that I made, like, actual list of things to oh, talk good. about. So. I put down um, the red light district because I did oh, walk through yeah. the red light district. Oh, 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 Tells us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She really didn't like that. Yeah, no, she didn't. Um, I, she didn't like anything. <laughs> Adam and I, we were just like, you know what? We might as well go through the red light district because if we're already here, like, let's just walk through if we have the opportunity to. And... It was fine. It was, it was okay. Like, there's really nothing that wild about it. Like, I think everyone assumes that just it's just, like, naked people in windows and stuff and that, like, something crazy happens, but it's really just, like, a bunch of people trying weed for the first time. And, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's really... How do you know? How do you know it's their first time? You can tell. Oh. Because they're, like, really scared. <laughs> <laughs> And they're yeah. suddenly like, we need to go to the Anne Frank house. Um, <laughs> Somehow something happens in Amsterdam where you smoke weed or do shrooms and like you just find yourself at the Anne Frank house. Okay, that is something I do need to bring up. After being in Amsterdam and and, and ex experiencing, first of all, I did go to the Fall in Our Stars bench and I did sit down and there was a line of girls waiting like to take a photo on the bench, which was very heartwarming. Did they think you look like Shalene Woodley there? What did you call her? Shalene Woodley. Her name is Shailene. I don't know. Shailene? Is that not what I just said? Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley, whatever. Did they think I looked like her? Yeah. No, no one said anything like Has that. Has anybody said that to you? No, no, a few years. I feel years. like that's, some, yeah, when that's something people when used to say. I was in high say. school, yeah. And I was really honored. I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy. That I, mean, makes, I am divergent. Ansel Elgort wants to fuck me, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's when Ansel Elgort was like a desirable man and not uh, and not hated. A pedophile. Yeah, right. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> we went there but also like walking past the Anne Frank house like I didn't I didn't get to do shrooms inside the Anne Frank house it's really you know disturbing and sad that I didn't get to do that but that's like it just we had to go to the Miffy store and it just scheduling conflicts and oh. it, it was really unfortunate but anyway I just cannot <laughs> imagine even walking past the Anne Frank house why the fuck did they make out in the Anne Frank house like, like I re, like that's we so, rewatched that so clip true. of the Fall in Our Stars yeah. and they were 
making out in the attic that's besides the well point. you know why they did it though it's because like she had such a hard time making it up the stairs so they kissed oh my god but like also like why didn't Crying any of them help her with the, with the oxygen backpack, tank the ox yes we went through the red light district and everything is like pretty much fine there although we had to walk through it again in the middle of a tuesday um to get where we were trying to go and we were cutting through the neighborhood and there was an old man in front of us a very very old man and walking and then one of the ladies steps out of her doors and she goes come in daddy just for a second just come in and he looks at us and he's like is she talking to me like is he i'm so confused is she talking to me and you're like no and we're she's like she's talking to me <laughs> we're like yeah daddy go in <laughs> like, come on, go come on daddy oh, that's sweet. um and then we also saw a really drunk guy in the middle of like a tuesday once again mm. just repeatedly kept saying to one of the girls I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. And she was not entertained. She was like scrolling through TikTok as it was happening. See, so I feel like if, like, we have failed as a society for no longer catcalling like that. It's always like, I want to be those jeans. And it's never, I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. Jake and I were walking earlier today in Center City, and we he sees a group of women. Oh, oh. And he's like, look at what they're wearing. They're so cute. Oh, my God. They're so pretty. Oh, my God. Are they famous? Oh, my God. Look at her outfit. Oh my. I'm like, you need to stop fucking catcalling women. I wasn't saying it. I was saying it to you. Doesn't matter. I was saying, I think I just saw the Kylie Jenner of Philadelphia. Damn. Because she said something as we were walking past, like, like, oh, glossier. Oh, we, uh, rolled oh, peptide lip, lip balm and salted caramel. <laughs> in salt. Do they come in flavors now? Yeah. Oh, wow. What flavor did you have the last time? Salted caramel. <laughs> that really? The packaging doesn't even say that. Oh, no, you're thinking of the Angulus, um peptide lip balm. Oh, they're different things. Yeah, they are. What's a peptide? Don't ask me that. <laughs> Don't ask me questions. Just curious. What don't a, ask me things that you don't want to know. Um, I went to... A gay event you? while you were gone. You? Not like, not like it wasn't. Why didn't you tell it me? wasn't. It was like a climbing thing. It wasn't like a it gay wasn't, climbing. Gay climbing. Gay people. You climb. Gay people climb. You climb other gay people. Yeah. You climb their massive spirit penises. Why are they spirit? It's like it's supposed to be like ashwagandha or whatever that fuck that trip is that people take. You did ashwagandha, like ashwagandha at, trip. In, in New Jersey at a, at, at a gay <laughs> climbing event. <laughs> no, I went to this thing and I saw so many ashwagandha, people. Ashwagandha? You mean ayahuasca? Ashwagandha? I know, I know. That's why I, I, I didn't, I can't, re I can't remember what ayahuasca is sometimes, but I went to it and I was like, I saw so many people that I've met, I've, I've matched with on Hinge. Oh. And then I realized I matched with people on Hinge so that I know who to avoid in public. And to who not talk to. You don't want It's wanna... really a struggle. So what, you don't want to talk to anyone that you've matched with? I've talked to people that I've matched with, and then I have a list of hidden matches, because, like, after a while, yeah. it just times out, of 57 men who I just, like, know of. Do you fucking like anyone? You don't like it when people, like, like your comments. You don't no, no, like no. it when people... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've engaged people in conversation. Usually, <laughs> this is going to make it sound sad. Usually, it's just the fact that they never respond. Oh. Yeah. So, so you're angry at them for that? No, what? I just avoid them in public. Why? <clears throat> you're right. I should go up to them and be like, so whatever happened? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah. The kids have been wondering where you What's are. What's your deal? <laughs> What's your deal? <laughs> no, I, um, I did match with this guy on Hinge, though, and he, like, about three seconds into our conversation, he told me that he asked me if, I, first of all, he goes, do you think... Or how tall do you think I am? Which they say your height on Hinge. And I'm like, it says like 5'4 or whatever, which is like insanely short, um, which is not a problem for me. He's like, do do you think I'm short? And I was like, what do you I want mean, me like, to say? I mean, like objectively, yes, that is a short mm -hmm. height. I don't know what you want me to say about that. And then he ran, and then he goes, okay, because I'm getting leg surgery. No. Like lengthening surgery in January. Did I ever Did tell you, you about tell this? tell me about this? I don't remember. Wait. And I, no, because I stopped talking to him like right after this because I was just like, I Why? like, you I like, like nicely. the fact that he was getting leg like, lengthening? I actually don't like that because. How long? Well, I don't like, number one, that How he's long? doing that. You, you can, they can only do three inches. That's it? Yeah, so what? You're going to go from 5'4 to 5'7? Five, seven? I'm 5'7. Five, seven. Okay, I mean, like, good, but like, I don't feel like that's a big difference, in my opinion. Enough to get fucking surgery on your. They, like, cut your tibia. I you know they can only do three inches. <clears throat> I, wa I looked it up because I literally said to him, I said, is that a real thing? 
And he goes, yeah. And I said, is it painful? He said, I don't know, but it's worth it. And I was like, okay. And then when I looked it up, that's how I found out that they have leg lengthening surgery. Yeah. They cut your tibia in half or your fibula There's or whatever. There's a lot of videos on, on TikTok now about people getting it. And honestly, I, a lot of the guys that I liked growing up were shorter than me. And I don't mind like people who are shorter. I've gone on dates with shorter guys. It was the fact that he just like brought it up to me out of absolutely right. nowhere. And I was like, oh, it's just like, how insecure do you have to be? To like actually change is this mean mm-hmm. oh sorry but like to literally like out of nowhere tell me about this and also like i feel like that's really like oh, oh asking for your validation like essentially oh. like and, and i had never said any also like i knew his height so it was it's like we matched anyway yeah you know so i didn't it was but i couldn't believe that that was real i don't i didn't people do that yeah that's crazy to me would you ever I'm fine being 5'7". It's also oh. really difficult as a girl to be considered as... A, I'm fucking considered a towering, tall giant. Oh, would like, you ever get leg shortening surgery? No. Why? Because all my jeans, I buy. I already bought them in extra <laughs> That's long. That's so fair. <laughs> That's so fair. But that line, like that Taylor Swift said, like everyone but oh, is Swifty. a sexy baby oh, and Swifty. I'm a monster on a oh, hill. Oh, you're a Swifty. Oh, you're a Swifty. No, I'm just saying I'm a monster on a hill. Oh, that well... Being anything above, like, 5'2", <clears throat> as a woman, you are seen as a giant. 5'2"? Okay, maybe, like, more than 5'2". Five, five. Okay, I'm like, oh, my God. It's, like, as a woman, it's, like, oh, my God, you're so tall. And then, like, other girls will go up to you and be, like, oh, my God, I feel like such a baby around you. Like, I feel so tiny around you. Oh, my God, like, you're so... You're, you're so... Your pants are so big on me. You're so big, and I'm just so little. Me and you are the same size in everything. Yeah, because you yeah you wear all my clothes. Bra size, <laughs> thong size, like we've shared thongs. Um, <laughs> um and and it yeah. just sucks because like I get that a lot that like I that I'm a lot taller and and it's just it's 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 really hard being um you know like a twenty uh, I. I forgot i was 24 today like i literally had to do the math i didn't know how old i was yeah but anyway it's really hard being a 24 year old baby girl and then like everyone realizing in real life that you're this like tall towering large ginormous towering woman at five seven and it's just it's rough listen don't like shrink yourself to fit in the box of like other people's boxes yeah like so don't don't get like shortening surgery i wasn't planning on it okay although i do think that maybe um my what is there like a maybe there's like a medical reason to get leg length is there like you no. don't you don't think okay no. i'm like wondering what are the disadvantages the medical disadvantages of being short reaching things <laughs> going on roller coasters <laughs> everything about that i think at five four you can do that really you go on roller coasters yeah i've seen you get denied from going on a roller Me? coaster <laughs> <laughs> i used to lie and tell people that i couldn't go on roller coasters or a night coaster. did you work at, at an amusement park when you were younger no 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 i was just wondering all my friends did yeah i did not because i did not well i just it's really hard when like every my crush was like going to Dorney park every single day like i'm fine with your crush was going to an undisclosed i'm fine with saying Dorney park you are yeah oh good for you oh all my crushes would get season passes and they would go to really? Park every single day like with different girls and it was like really painful and they i didn't want you. to see that they never took me well one time they did they did take me once oh my god yeah and you i were chosen roller i know they went <laughs> oh damn it <laughs> not again no miffy miffy is like everywhere in amsterdam because she, yeah i didn't she, know that about she was miffy. born there oh um and it was the best thing to happen to me that that Miffy was everywhere, and I feel like I was like healing an inner child of mine. Did you go to Amsterdam knowing that there, that Miffy was born there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought maybe you got because I'm trying to imagine you finding that out there. No, no, I knew, and I was prepared. Oh, okay. I was very ready. Did you get autographs from Miffy? Yeah. Well, the creator of her is dead, so that's really insensitive of you to ask. <laughs> I don't. I know nothing. What's the, who's the creator? Um, I think his name is Mark Dick. Dick Bruno. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought that was, that was like a saw contract. I was supposed to go Mark saw Dick, con- and you were going to like, Mark <laughs> Dick in your mouth or something like that. Like, I was scared, so well, I was just like, I that, just remained silent. I can do another, I can do another one. Um, my favorite word that I learned in Dutch is pin the cuss winkle. Mm. Um, 
I was seeing it's just like a very important special word to me and Adam and I just kept saying that that like in the fall nor stars like you know how they say like okay okay will be our always and like (laughs) like forever will be our whatever the fucking line is and like to me Adam and I like Pentecost Winkle is like our our always our forever our okay sounds beautiful like what does it mean um peanut butter store Mm. And she... Um, no, like, you don't have to elaborate. No, I do, because it's crazy, <laughs> because she, like, pen on my decas until, like, I winkle, like, and that's crazy. She? Well, I'm not going to, like, I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to discriminate. I'm open. If she offers <laughs> yeah, the pen on if she decas says, on my winkle. If she's going to pen decas anywhere, then I hope it's, it's on, on my, my winkle. winkle. <laughs> like, period. <laughs> there's also... So funny there's also that. um vine winkle. What's that? Wine. Use fucking context clues. How? No. That, <laughs> that makes no sense. Why? Vine Winkle. Yeah. Pentecost Winkle. Yeah. Pe- means Winkle, pe- Winkle means store. Okay, so when I ask Vine Winkle and you just say wine, that's oh. why I'm confused. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, oh, so, so yeah. Winkle could mean anything Yeah, to so me. I went to Miffy's Winkle. Oh, and how do you say that in... Ah, uh, it's really, it's like a, it's, the, to say Miffy in, in Dutch is, like, really complicated. And how did you hear about Miffy, like? I watched Miffy as a kid. Oh, it was a show, I didn't, I, this is what I'm asking, like, how do you, you know You don't know about, anything about Miffy? I don't know anything about Miffy, I've never seen You don't Miffy. know Miffy, a sweet little was, bunny, Miffy? No, I was watching Max and Ruby. <laughs> okay, this, I was also watching Max and Ruby. <laughs> and Miffy. Max and, Max and Ruby are, like, canonically the, um... Like the, um, like the, like there's the Family Guy universe and the Simpsons universe, <laughs> and Miffy is like the Simpsons. Oh, like Jimmy, Jimmy, Timmy, Power Hour. What? Uh, Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Yeah, Parents. right. It's yeah. the same thing. It's just a little bit, um, alternate. Oh, it's I just... watched Maggie and the Ferocious Beast as a kid. Oh, me too. I loved that me show. Too. I'd watch it when I was home faking being sick. Is that the one where the little dachshund is called Weenie? No, that's Oscar. Oswald. The... Oswald. Oswald. Yeah. Ooh, I used to play a video game with Oswald in it. I was trying to guess your password to your TV while you were gone. Were you <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> to what? I don't know. It like signed you out or something. So I had to sign, sign into some guy named Tim's account that's on your TV. That's my boyfriend's dad. <laughs> oh yeah me and jared my little brother came over to help feed the cats and he was like Who the, who's tim i was like i don't know actually i really actually have no idea i will confront nicole on it having your brother come to my house was probably like the craziest thing that ever could have occurred to me in my brain i know you never he said like why did she ever invite me over well i did really want to talk about julia fox's book oh yeah oh um, yeah nicole oh flipped God. shit at me yesterday I, Not in like a bad way. In a really good, good way. Good way, yeah. I <laughs> love Julia Fox more than I ever have before. Like I I always liked her and thought that she was really cool, but I have like this newfound appreciation of her and I'm going to find every opportunity to talk about her. She's my new inspiration. She is my muse. She's and she Nicole. was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Jack. Jake and I will be reading the book on my channel because okay. it is such a good fucking book like i listen to it at all times and i love the way that she speaks and it's literally talking all the time like this and she's explaining everything and she goes i came from my little village Serrano. and then we- <laughs> <laughs> oh she's italian yeah i didn't know that yeah she came from italy really yes oh cool oh wow that's goes, actually i came to i feel the like fox city. is a very like I just d- could be know. from anywhere I name, that so that's why I'm from. like, yeah. But she was all the time, like, and she's like, and I was eating my mozzarella, and like, just, it just, it, it, it brought me so much joy, because she's genuinely so funny and so talented, and I think she literally wrote this book in under five months, because she did an interview, like, five months ago. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she, like, locked herself in her room for I two days, and did. just, like, typed it all she hasn't posted out. a TikTok in a while. Oh, yeah. But... Literally, she was like on Emily Ratajkowski's podcast and was talking about this book that she's writing. This was five months ago, meaning, and she came forth and said that she didn't even, I always say came forth. I know, I love when you say came forth. It's so medieval. (laughs) It's so medieval. (laughs) She came forth and was like, yeah, I actually didn't even write a page at that time, like when I was on (laughs) Emily's podcast. But since then... That's literally you announcing videos that are coming out. You're like, yeah, "Yeah, we're going to read the book. Yeah. (laughs) 
that was five months ago and it's already out there's the audiobook on spotify which like everyone if you're free that in itself can, takes time to make i am so that's really so cool. fucking grateful that she listened i will forever associate this trip with julia fox and i will forever be thinking about her and i not like the love you and your boyfriend share no <laughs> oh okay yeah <laughs> duh. that'd be stupid <laughs> I did make Adam a, a Julia Fox stand though. That's great. And he kept asking, he's like, what happens with Kanye at the end? I'm like, just fucking listen to her because that's not even entertaining. Like, that's the least entertaining part of everything. I don't, I can't say that I like, I just haven't known a lot about Julia Fox in It's general. time to learn. No, yeah. And I, I loved her video. I loved her interview with uh, Zoe. Mm-hmm. I love that interview. I thought it was so funny. But that's like the pretty much the extent that I know Julia Fox and the Uncut Gems bit. But that's about it. No, because it's not like she's like, she's not like in movies or anything, is she? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Like what? Uncut Gems. She's in it? Bitch, she's the main character. Adam Sandler's the main character. She makes out with Adam Sandler. She does? Yeah, he's like her love interest. Okay, I watched watched that before I even knew who Julia Fox was. So that's why I didn't like make connection. So you watched it? uncut gems yeah i've seen it but that was way oh, before i knew uh, who julia uh, fox was yeah, so that's she, why i didn't know she is his love interest oh okay mm-hmm. hmm. I, I literally i think i watched that back during the pandemic like in my room i think i need to consume every like julia fox content possible Are i you, would like her books all of them all of how she has multiple she has like um i almost called it a picture book it's <laughs> it's books with with photography in her oh, okay. Okay. yeah <laughs> that's nice like it's that. her picture books it's like uh it's a flip book like where yes. she where like every page is like it's like you go like Stop that motion, yeah. yeah oh that's kind of cute mm-hmm. i like julie F- i mean like i i liked i thought she i thought she was really funny in this way in her in her book. i think she's gonna like blow up like so ginormously huge and i can't wait and i want to become her friend oh and she commented on my tiktok once you think she's gonna blow up wow I didn't mean it like Did that. You just no, I didn't. Mean, no, I no, I didn't mean it like no, that. Like, no, I really didn't mean it like that. I guess we'll just let everybody decide what you really meant. Well, just know that I've been living in fear for the last like few weeks. After yeah, you Jeff got on the Whittick plane. Told me that I was gonna <laughs> blow up. Well, it's your turn to like pass the baton. You're right. It's like a curse. You're like here, Julia. You're gonna. Blow You're up. gonna blow up. <laughs> 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 no. Okay. Wait. But like, hopefully, like, I wish Julia Fox like safety <laughs> i wish her no, because, some blessings. Because, because this is gonna be like a simpsons episode where you're gonna be like they predicted it or something oh so you think i'm psychic oh fuck you i have <laughs> i'm sick of you oh okay you you, you. oh is this about the vitamins <laughs> <laughs> you, is that really what it's about you little you little slag you i, I that's not your word i Who's I'm gonna edit an F sound before the edit out the no! F L. <laughs> can't do that. Okay, first of all, you you are the type of person who I always give you credit. Like when you show me <laughs> a show or a movie. Is this really is this really about the vitamins? Listen to me. I didn't realize this hurt you so much. Listen to me. I'm so you should come to me. sick and tired. I'm coming to you now. I'm so I even texted you. I said fuck you. I'm so sick. I'm pretty sure I DM'd you that. I'm so, I give you credit any possible chance. Whenever you show me a new show or movie, I'm like, Jake showed me this. Whenever there is some, like, thing, I'm like, my friend Jake did this. I, like, put your fucking, like, link in the bio. Oh, like, I didn't and know I you give upset. you credit. Oh, I'm pissed. And then <laughs> I'm standing True. in my goddamn kitchen, and Jake is telling me that he has been struggling recently with his health, with his memory. And I did recommend omega-3s to him, okay, mind you. But I told him, I said, I really fucking think that you should get rhodiola. I really, really, really think that you should get rhodiola. And guess what? I was absolutely right mm-hmm. that you should have gotten rhodiola. Yeah. And I told you all these different things that you should start taking. And I was like, Jake, I'm begging you, get one of these pill organizers. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. I was never consistent when taking my vitamins or supplements. I was never, ever consistent. But the best thing that you can do is literally getting a little box, a container, it says the days of the week and it has, says a.m. and p.m. and then you can put your little pills at the start of the week and i said get one get one and, and did get i say rhodiola. did i not actually i vividly remember this thank yeah. you rhodiola i said in that kitchen i said i will and you said you will i said i will and then i'm on which i don't really respond like that a lot oh i know you don't which don't. is like I said, why I it felt so fulfilling that you actually like went forward and did mm-hmm. so then 
I go on Instagram.com and on your goddamn story, you're like, hey guys, everyone should get this fucking pill container <laughs> because say. this is how you you start taking your pills because if you're like me who like never takes them. Do you want me to give you credit in that? Yeah. Why can't you start off the sentence with Nicole help me? Nicole helped me so much. You everyone want, you should want praise to be Nicole. honest? You did that to piss me off. <laughs> no, no. But in private, like, like two people that who are actually in my life, you like, like my credit. mom. You've given me credit. Oh, absolutely. I said, mom, you should take this quiz on. Don't say. <laughs> because Nicole like showed me this quiz or whatever. And I was like, when, when you pulled the quiz up, I was like, okay, like this is, it's going to be like eight questions and uh-huh, they're going to give me uh-huh. like a very basic thing. And then I was like, no, they asked you like 57 questions and they were like good questions. Mm-hmm. And then they give you what they would send you. And then you just. This is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. They give you what, or they tell you what they're going to send you. And then you just say exit out of the page really fast and then you go order your own yeah um and that's what i did so but like to people i do actually like i like i do give you credit to people and then do you like show them my venmo like qr code and they're like no i turn the screen around i go uh, they're gonna ask you questions questions. (laughs) yeah no but i'm sorry i didn't realize yeah i was really just trying to get people to use my amazon affiliate code right and it's just like really sick and twisted that you didn't like like my my... tiktok shop um yeah that's like really really awful and terrible and like it hurts so bad that like i'll make another one today you can help someone so much and you can be there for someone and you can support someone so much through like their health journey and be there for them and that you can advise them what they should do and that when they actually do it it's just really tiring that at every god given moment they are not giving you credit for that i want to publicly give credit to nicole if you here and i'm going to make a story today when i get home when i'm taking my little nighttime uh-huh. vitamins uh-huh. my magnesium and my hair skin and nails okay. one because i take one in hair skin and nails in the morning and then i take one at night because okay. it says it take two a day but okay. i like to split it up because they're the gummy version mm-hmm. so it's like a little a treat for me um, <laughs> but i will i'll make another video and i'll give you credit i also want to publicly give credit to my mom because she's the one who gave me that pill dispenser i did not go out and buy it she gave that to me if you if i died and you really needed um, a transplant, an organ transplant. Like, let's say that you and I... Okay, picture this. Picture this. Okay, really picture a beautiful scenic moment. Mm-hmm. Picture this. You and I, mm-hmm. we're going somewhere really fun. Okay, I'm driving the car, all right? We get hit by an 18-wheeler. I die. Oh, my God. You're, <laughs> you're <laughs> it was so sudden. How, how did it happen? What did... Um, well, the, I was driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Oh, you do do that. Rats. Um, <laughs> Not again. And uh, you're in critical condition, but you need a few, like, organ um, transplants. Like, okay. maybe you, like, need my eye and, like, my heart and uh-huh. maybe, like, my um, lower intestines. Okay. And... I don't know. Those wouldn't be much use to me, to be honest. Oh. They're not... They're not great. Okay. I'd probably go to another... But go I ahead. give you my spirit penis and I give you my... Um, you're actually going to give me that? I would, I would, I would give it to you tenfold, and um, and I give you like my hand, mm. like it's it's like a hand transplant. Anyway, I give you mm-hmm. all of these things. Mm-hmm. I want you, and I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. Dead. Keep closing your eyes. Mm-hmm. I want you. <laughs> Why? For the rest of your fi- <laughs> for the rest of your life. When you wake up in the morning, mm-hmm. I want you to say, Nicole gave me this eye. Thank you, Nicole, for giving me this eye. <laughs> I'll make it like a TikTok. I'll make it like an Instagram thank story every good. day. And I'll be like, thank you, Nicole, for another day. Yes. Every time that you take a shit, mm-hmm. I want you to thank me for giving you my, your, my lower intestines. Every time that you use my hand for anything, I want you to give me credit on okay. Instagram stories out loud, whatever it may be. Do I have to keep it like manicured and everything? I don't like. F- do I have to keep that alive? I don't care. Okay. Oh, I'm you dead. Don't? Oh. I just want my credit. I want credit where it's due. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'll, I'll give you the clout. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was a kid, that's Loki kind of how I was. Like, if a friend <laughs> listened to a song that I showed them, I'm like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you not giving me credit?" No, I'm that way now, though. Yeah, I know about music. And, oh, for sure. And I, I get have pissed when people don't listen. Out of that, and I have matured and become a very mature, responsible young woman who does not feel like that anymore. However, if I do give you my organs, I want credit. Deal. Okay. But I'll give you credit again. I'll give you credit for everything. You now. would never give me an organ. I just of feel yours. like I just feel like you know you want to know why I don't like always tag you in like because Nicole I could literally tag you in any Instagram story that I post. You know that why? Because like most of the time when I post things, I'm like <laughs> Nicole's gonna laugh at this. <laughs> it's it's like it's like a nice surprise because I know that you're definitely gonna see it because 
uh, you're more likely to watch a TikTok that I post on my story than one that I actually send you via, like, text messages. So well, I'm like, Nicole's gonna see this. Um, <laughs> no, but, like, I don't... Well, well, I mean, I just feel like I talk about you a lot. I do. What's it like being obsessed with me? I don't like to use the word obsessed. Oh. Not in this... Right, you don't... Home. Right, right. We yeah. use... We, we use... What's it like? Infatuated. Infatuate, yeah. Adored, adoring, um, ad, 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 ugh, what's that word? Uh, adorn. Adorn. Uh, uh, I understand. I yeah. get it. No, but like I literally, I mean, like I could tag you in so many things, but I just don't because I feel like you'd be annoying. Um, no, because I want credit where credit is due. And then, and then I feel like okay, if I tag, like if I made that video, and I tagged you, I'd be like, first of all, is Nicole annoyed by me doing this? <laughs> like sometimes, well, because I was in your house the other day and you weren't home. Um, cause you were on your trip <laughs> and I found, um, I found like, um, <laughs> what is it called? A mooj or something by your bed. I don't know. My friend gave it to me. <laughs> <Your> friend. <laughs> someone, someone gave her like, um. Explain quickly what it is. What by is saying, it? Like, it's you, like, you had a mooj next to your bed. Sounds a, so. A rose toy. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, no. It was, um, it's like one of those little vaporizers of like, but is it CBD or is it just like so. essential oil vaporizer? I don't know. Honestly. Okay, whatever. It's really bad that I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I, I was really suffering with my fucking sleep and clearly like going on like corn.com didn't help because exactly. then so i saw my ex lover or whatever so i needed to, to i was like i'm done with that so i need to get I need to start smoke chain smoking now <laughs> i started chain smoking my mooch, <laughs> my, mooch. my chamomile um, and i was like pen. well i found it and i made like a little video that i was gonna send to you but i felt like you would be annoyed but then i showed you when you got home because i was also like is this like an invasion of privacy you're already in my home i know no but then i was like this would be such a funny like ugh. It would be like a funny TikTok, but then I'm like, nobody's going to get it if I don't tag You're Nicole. worried about an invasion of privacy? The way that you... I gave Jake a key, okay? I gave Jake a key because I was like, Jake, Jake... Okay, and like, key. I doxed you, your house. What do you... Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm done apologizing for it, okay? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you're moving or whatever because like, people kept showing up to your door. I'm sorry. It's really stressful. Um... <laughs> The way that Jake cannot text me and say, I'm coming, but instead <laughs> just barge You in. gave me a key to your house? Tell me you're coming and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I no, And the reason I do that is because I'm like, she's going to be so annoyed if I text her. No, no you want to know. Won't. It's because, okay, well, I have a really bad habit of fortune telling, like oh, as most right. people do. And so I sit down there and I'll be walking here and I'm like, okay, do I text Nicole that I'm going to be here? Because I feel like she might respond and be like, I literally gave you a key. No, text me you're coming in because literally what if I'm butt naked? Oh my God. What if I'm mooching and rose toys <laughs> out and like, I'm really scared. Well, I, what, I would never show up to your house like without being like, hey, I'm coming over in general. Yeah, but I don't know how much time I have. Sometimes it's like an hour. Sometimes it's two minutes. Okay. I will say, wait, what do you want me to say? Are you mooching right now? And are you, are you rose toying? <laughs> are you rose toying right now? And then what? You say no or yes? And then what? I wait down there? No, no. You just, you still come in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you just come up. <laughs> okay. They're like, just warning you, even if you are mooching right now, I'm still I couldn't even make up. it into your house, like into your apartment though. Because no, it's because that, that safety bar yeah, that I have. It's working. It's I keeping, know, it's really it's keeping good. me out. It's really good. It's I crazy. Like that. Yeah. I had that safety bar in when my... My mom was picking me up because we were going to the beach together and she was picking me up from Philly and I had that security bar. It's like a bar that you kick underneath your door. It's meant for it. But anyway, um, I remember in my dream, I was like sleep. I went to bed at like 2 a.m. And anyway, it's like early in the morning. I remember in my nightmare, I could hear my mom like screaming, but that's like not an uncommon like nightmare that no. I <laughs> Okay. So I can just hear like yelling and screaming and like desperation and mm. I and I and banging on the walls, and I realize after a while um, that it is actually my mom. And my mom is outside the door crying because she thought that something bad happened to me because I was at the time like prescribed sleep pills. And, oh, and I, I was, do remember. I was this. just starting on them because I was like really struggling to sleep, and so my mom was really worried that like something bad happened to me. And she couldn't suddenly get into my house, even though she has a key, but because of that fucking bar and it's like underneath the door. Anyway, um, <laughs> when you went to the sleep doctor and like Nicole is probably the person in my life who listens to a doctor the most. Oh, like, me, yeah. Like, yeah. But she went to the sleep doctor. They told her a bunch of stuff and she's like, 
No. <laughs> and then you stopped going. Because they told me, they were like, so you might have um, narcolepsy. <laughs> Which, like, okay. And then you were like... I mean Mm-mm. this in the nicest way possible, but if I have narcolepsy, I don't want to know. I don't want another thing <laughs> added to my list. Like, I don't want to be... Your, your your resume. I just feel like after, at some certain point, no one's going to believe me anymore. I go to the doctor and I'm going to tell them, I'm like, yeah, allergic to like peanuts and hazelnuts. And like, I used to think that I was allergic to gluten, but apparently I'm not. Oh, and I also have OT, OCD and PTSD. Oh, also, I'm, I'm narcoleptic. narcoleptic. Like, that's so yeah. pathetic. Like, they're going to look at me and be like, this bitch is lying. And so for the sake of of not wanting to seem like a liar i'm just gonna not get diagnosed <laughs> that was me though I've, I've been like that for like a while it's but sometimes but that's not good like you should always go to the doctor and figure yeah, things out yeah but i think i can just fix it myself like if i just set my mind it to going? it and manifest you had you were going on a really good track for a little bit and then With sleeping yeah and then you went overseas. on my trip yeah. yeah and now i'm fucked again yeah well not really, because I'm starting my day at, like, 3.30 in the morning, and I feel, like, better than everyone else, because I'm, like, awake <laughs> and doing things, and I, like, look out on yeah, my street. Yeah, it's just not normal. I look out. Even my parents, who wake up incredibly <laughs> early, are not up at 3.30 in the morning. I look out onto my street, and all, like, the lights are off, and no one's out on the street. I'm like, losers! I'm better than all of you, because I'm productive. You should productive. start going on a run. <laughs> yeah, you guys, fuck you guys. I'm better than all of you. I'm a fucking Virgo. I'm productive. I'm making money moves right now. What are you guys doing? You're like, I'm going to crash in two hours. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I absolutely do. Yeah. Um, I've been on that journey too, though, of like being better than everybody else. Or like at least thinking. Oh, I've it. been you know on what I mean? my journey of being better than everyone else. Oh, oh, really? Because every time I ask you if you think that you're better than everyone else, you go, oh no. I'm soft launching my friends now. What do you mean? I'm soft launching my friends now. I'm starting to post on my story pictures of my friends where that you can't see friend. their face. That was my friend that you soft launched. Oh, when was the last time you hung out one-on-one with him? I, I can't hang out one-on-one with another man. What is this? This is different. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm like one of the girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be like one of your girls or your homies. <laughs> yeah. I cried on, uh, in the car the other day to one of your girls. Yeah, you have been doing that. Weren't you crying to another song, a surprising so? song? Yeah. No, there was one other one recently. Um, it was a song I showed you, too. That you were like Shinigami Eyes? Yeah, yeah. You were like, I'm I was walking down the street crying to Shinigami Eyes. You had your Shinigami Eyes on. I think it's um because um apparently SSRIs are like Apparently Apparently SSRIs (laughs) are not as effective anymore. Apparently the distribution centers and the pharmacists are saying that they're not as strong. So apparently, <laughs> a lot of people are getting severely underdosed, and apparently has something to do with the Adderall shortage. What the f- really? So apparently, I'm not as SSRI as I used to be. You're good at that. Apparently. Apparently, you're good at that. I really like that. Thank you so. That much. was really nice. Wait, look, wait, look. <laughs> Um, People turned it up to hear what you just said, and then, like, they're like, whoa! I don't know um, if that's actually true. I brought it up with a doctor of mine, and they said, I don't know. So you're spreading, like, conspiracy theories now. I'm not spreading conspiracy theories. No, you just did. You were like, down with big big SSRI. They're they're diluting our drugs. I love big SSRI. They're lacing our drugs with placebo. I said in a video once, I jokingly said that I'm going to do an SSRI video review where I'm going to test every single one, like, jokingly. And I got so many comments being like, please don't do that. I'm like, I know that people think I'm dumb. How would you even do that? How would you even do that? I I like Oh, I went to my friends. Right, 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 right. First of all, I've gathered the infinity stones of SSRIs (laughs) um from my friends. I like that. You can I I will give you the rest of my Lexapro. I (laughs) I like that I am um sometimes perceived as people can't take me um serious. They they don't know whether I'm serious or not. Yeah, I just stop um I'm not, uh, no, I, I don't want to like knock it because I understand the benefits of it. What, SSRIs? No, 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 no. Um, what is it called when people put like parentheses, or not parentheses, yeah, tone, what is it called? Tone marking, tone marker, whatever. It's something like that. I understand the benefit of it. Yeah. I'm not a person who uses them. So I just had to accept like, 
you just have to accept the fact that like people are not go- sometimes people are not going to understand like if you're being serious or yeah. if you are not and like that's just like on you you know yeah I, I've I take comments. responsibility like I, yeah yeah absolutely I take responsibility that I'm like not when I don't say I'm joking or whatever that people will think that I'm like either dumb or yeah. stupid or both yeah that's how Colleen Ballinger used to be um, before her like scandals and stuff I remember I had a conversation with somebody in college with about Colleen Ballinger yeah with Colleen Ballinger where, like, someone was, like, I used to be a really big fan of her videos, but, like, now, like, every time she says something, she has to, like, say, like, I'm just kidding, I'm just, like, as fast as she possibly can about, like, almost nothing, Mm -hmm. you know? And I was, like, I don't ever want to, like, be that person. I don't know. What were you just saying before this? Um, Talking about SSRIs. Oh, you're soft-launching your friends. Oh, I'm soft-launching, yeah, so I soft-launched Brad, um... But Which like, is my friend, mind you. I'm always going to do it, like, as if I'm dating them, though. Because it's fun. It's fun. And then I get a bunch of, like, I, all my friends, like, like who don't really this? know them. Are like, I'm like, oh, my God, are you dating someone? Are you cheating on me? All my straighties, my straight man friends are like, oh, my God, you're cheating on me. You're Troy Savanning so hard right now. Troy Savanning, he didn't... Oh, my God, that's so gross of you. He didn't... That's, like, a gay thing. That's not Troy Savan. Gay people weren't invented. Troy Savan didn't invent gay people. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Gay people didn't get, like, literally, like, there was not a single gay person before Troy Savon started on YouTube. But you need to learn your history a little bit better. You can't, like, come on to, like, my channel. Because this video goes on to my channel, and then you're going to spread misinformation. Please, 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 please follow me on TikTok. Please fucking follow me on TikTok. I just want a thousand subscribers. Or, or, or a thousand followers so that I can get on fucking TikTok and do karaoke on live. Oh, that is no, all I no, fucking don't, want. Don't no, please, please, no, don't follow please, him. Please, please, no, please, don't do turn it. fucking notifications off. I don't give a fuck. Please, 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 please. Every single day I'm sitting in my room doing absolutely fucking nothing and I'm like, what I would give to be able to pull up Adele all I ask and just start singing. We can do karaoke here. But I want to do it on TikTok live. I want to, because I'm not going to do it on Instagram Live. That's fucking embarrassing. Oh, and it's not embarrassing on TikTok? No, it's not. Oh, have you seen TikTok Lives? Are you going to do- They're always embarrassing. Are you going to do karaoke, um, uh, what's it called, with the the person? What's it called? NPC. NPC? NPC karaoke. What is that? Thank you for the likes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Thank you for the glizzy. No, I want to do karaoke on TikTok so bad. I do want to talk about it. Well, oh, the the documentary oh yeah oh i forgot because we did talk yes. about it for five minutes until uh everything went to shit yeah but yeah um so jake and i yesterday we watched the documentary escaping twin flames mm-hmm. and was that what it was fully called i didn't remember i, I just know. i just knew like it's the twin flames documentary yeah, yeah. it's basically about <laughs> these two cult leaders named uh fuck Jeff. Mm-hmm. Jeff. I remember that because of Jeff Wittick. And I love yes. Jeff Wittick. Um, Jeff, you have a connection with people named Jeff. Uh, My therapist's else? name is Jeff. Really? Mm-hmm. And I have a connect. I have such a strong connection to him. Yeah. Oh my God, are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and um, and Shalea. 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 It's these two cult leaders that are a couple and that they believe in like twin flames and that like you have your one other half and there's only one other half for you and um, if you join this group on Facebook that you can find your other half and then you can go into harmonious union and then get married within like two minutes and then yeah. you're going to be so in love and have babies and then spend the rest of your life together. Anyway, it turned into this like huge scam and cult and uh, obviously like the the cult leader believed he was God at some point, like believed he was like Jesus Christ and yeah. they also started convincing people that to transition even if they didn't feel like they which wanted netflix to handled all. incredibly responsibly which they i'm did. so happy about because they, they literally like had this they made that part of the documentary very important yeah and but they also made it super important that they like it was dispelled any- anything that you know people who are transphobic could possibly use against yeah the trans like yeah. movement like there was yeah, no it fuel was, that could be given yes, to them yes they they said at the very end of it like while these people while some of these people did regret transitioning because they were like basically being manipulated to yes. that oh, that less than one percent of people who transition regret it yeah 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 no and it and it was it was a great documentary and it was really interesting and and really fun but it, it got me thinking because i've had people tell me that i am their twin flame and I've also had people tell me 
I specifically wrote this down because it was what I told you yesterday that I'm that guys every single guy I have ever talked to ever in my entire life except my current boyfriend has said to me oh my god you're the girl version of me and I think that's the most disgusting and senile it's thing that you offensive. could ever say. It is so offensive because I'm so much cooler than all of them. I've just been thinking about that a lot. I've just been thinking. I've just been thinking about um, the weird... <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your eyes do that. You're like, I've just been thinking. I've just I'm been like, thinking oh my God. <laughs> and is it hurting? <laughs> I do get angry sometimes. Oh. No, it's just even guys I like fucking talk to like just as friends or. Oh, oh what's his face? Yeah, I he know. He said that to you. Did he actually? Yes. No, no. And you were like me. <laughs> I hope to God I'm nothing like you. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Do any girls say that you're the girl version of them? No, mm-hmm. no, because that's that. I've never said you're the girl version of me. I, I think, think we're it... opposites in so many yes. ways. Yes, and I think it's like a manipulative tactic. If I think guys will just see that you get along with them or that you have things in common or that they will express their interests and then you might be interested in the same things, but they know nothing about you or your interests. And then they will be like, oh my God, you're just like me. I've never met anyone like you. And they like actually don't know anything about you. It's just that they have never had um, in-depth conversations with people before, especially women. Here's something that I experienced as a cisgender man um, is that straight men, if you like let them talk to you, for more than like 10 minutes and you just like don't interrupt what they're saying they like they say like you're really great to talk to to you yeah to me like 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 they're always like oh like it's just so nice talking to you like you're good at listening did pookie say that to you pookie did not say i wish pookie was able to me (laughs) no he just like pretty easy that one for me and like i don't know i'm trying to like play my christmas gift for him (laughs) did you talk about that on the on the on the podcast what about him preheating the oven for you my pook yeah pookie. brad yeah <laughs> yeah no brad oh my god like this no i never brad talked is about adam's it roommate. My boyfriend's adam, roommate adam is uh nicole's yeah nicole's boyfriend um adam You're my lock they're, they're my locktober um oh wait now you have to explain what locktober is. mates no i'll just say that for another day well if we get questions about it then i'll wait, talk is about lock vember happening uh no shave november so it's unlocked explain what lock adam didn't is. tell you i i don't need to ask Okay. Yeah, Locktober is where you take a cage and you <laughs> <laughs> and you wrap and you wrap it wrap it up. You know, it your thing, your man thing. All October. All, all, all October, October. All October. So you can't like do anything with it. I think you can pee. I don't. I don't really know. Um, but I learned about October. Uh, Locktober. Did, Did I? Yeah. No, I held their keys. Oh. Adam and Brad's keys. You're so sweet. I know. I ate them. What was I saying? Oh, uh, Pookie. Oh yeah. Oh well. One time, one time, me and Nicole and Adam and G, we went to a Mac DeMarco concert mm-hmm. in New York, and we were walking, we were walking there, and I was like, oh my gosh, like there's this place. It's called like Ooey Gooey, like Daddy's Ooey Gooey Cream Pie it's Cookies. It's literally called that. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's big Ooey Gooey Cream Pie <laughs> Cookies. Um, and I was like, oh, I want Daddy's Ooey Gooey Cream Pie. <laughs> cookies and oh, i would do anything i would do anything for a hot steamy that's exactly load, what you said and load then, of cream tea and then <laughs> aka cookies. pookie heard you say that and, and he was, was like, like say I'm less king yeah. yeah and and he and i was he was like i'll grab you cookies and i was like we're gonna be late for the concert or whatever so like i was like but i really want cookies and he was like i'll grab some and like i'll save them for you and after the concert he was like he was like oh like here i and he starts putting them onto the baking tray Mm -hmm. and i'm like what the hell he's like oh i preheated the oven to warm them up to warm up my fucking ooey gooey daddy's ooey gooey (laughs) dumb cream pie cookies And I was like, I was literally said to him, I was like, that isn't like, I actually like fell in love with him because. This happened in like October. No, 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 August. August? Yeah. And I literally, I literally was like, Jake has not shut up about it you understand, Nicole, like nobody's ever done anything that nice for me. Here's a thought that's crossed my mind. Put so many hashtags under your posts that no one will bother to read all of them and no one will realize that you put hashtag gay in there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, And also... Have you been doing that? I don't know. Go check. (laughs) (laughs) I think I have noticed. (laughs) No, I never. I never. I think I put hashtag gay under one thing in my life. 
But I remember back in high school when I was closeted. And you were I would, hashtag gay? No, I never did. Oh. But I would watch like other people do it and, and you like, would get like 600 likes on a post. And you're like, I and can't I wait like, to one day put I can't wait gay. to one day put hashtag Yeah, so like if you see me starting to put put like hashtag gay under things mind your, mind your fucking business because like i'm just living out like my childhood dream i'm making childhood jake happy okay that's like when we make a reel about our podcast to try and promote it and we, yeah, put, literally. And we put hashtag comedy mind your fucking business yeah no literally no, i go nicole what do you want me to put under this and she's like hashtag comedy i'm like have we like have we really like got like steep like are we stupid like, you're like i don't give a fuck I don't, it's not something, it, like, I have lost all dignity and respect anyway. On the internet, I kind of agree. Oh, I didn't teach you a Polish word of the day. Go ahead. What do you want to know? Well, I already know the word for bye, so that would have been cute. Papa, but. Um, well, there's, there's do widzenia. Do widzenia. That means, like, until I see you. Anything else? No. This is how my dog would smell this. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Later. Bye.